Okay, I'll share the slides in a moment. I think I want to start with, with you all and with some paper and pen. Grab some paper and pen. And I have a question for you and you do some, some drawing because my question is, how happy are you with your online facilitation and leadership experience over the last few weeks and months? We were all in it. Draw your smiley. How happy is your smiley with your own leadership and facilitation experience? And then show it. We want to see it. We want an impression of this. Show it. Yeah, show it. Yeah, that gives an impression. It's coming. Your experience. There are smileys in all variations. Now, think about what is the trick to make your smiley smile even more? What do you need that your own smiley is smiling more? Take a few seconds and just write it down for yourself. Okay, I think we all have many, many insights and each of you could be here now and share. So I'll share mine. I think we have to do some switches when we want to work online. And I mean, Riff just said it. We need to bring people and interaction online and not content. And there is a tendency of this content. There is a habit. There is somehow this routine of thinking about content when we go online. And this is really a switch we need to do because it's people who interact and not content. So we really have to plan for interaction. And that was for me in the last weeks really the most important. And I mean, it's as in, in, in face to face, it starts with the why, with the purpose, clarity on this. And when we go online, the most important I think is that we have to structure it for online. It needs a rhythm, it needs a pace, it's like music, it needs a story. It's the same in the physical room, but I think online it's even more important. And using the plenary for framing, but really, really the conversations in small groups, in breakouts, and Zoom is the revol revolution. I mean, those who use Zoom, they know why they use Zoom. Another one, and if we look at it from a leadership perspective, I am convinced that maximum engagement needs involvement. And this is more than an email. It means reaching out. It really means involving people from a very, very early stage. And uh, for me, it's more a question of, of attitude and of which role I want to give other people. How can I make them responsible for what we want to do together? And co-facilitation is, is one part if we talk about facilitation. And I must say, in, in my experience, I work a lot with liberating structures. And for me, liberating structures is the big, big game changer in bringing interaction and people online. Because it's all in there. And with liberating structures, self-facilitation is just one of the purposes of the whole idea behind. So it's, it's really more than just a fancy toolbox. It's, it's an attitude, it's, it's a guiding map, and a lot of process knowledge. For me, this is important. So um, one more key message, and I think that's also an important one, for me, it's, 
it's a creative challenge. It's not a technological one. It's working with, but also often around technology. Uh, we just had a, a, an open space this week and it's fabulous what you can do with Zoom. You just have to think, how, what can I use with this technology? How can I adapt it to what I need to do? And often, yeah, paper and pen. I mean, we are sitting behind the screen, but it needs more. We can move, we can do a lot of things. And I always say, when I, I do a lot of trainings with facilitators, I always say, what do you love to do in the room? Just bring it online. And this is the creative challenge. And keep it as simple as possible. It's not about bringing content online, but it's also not about bringing technology and fancy tools online. It's about conversation. That's the most important. So, that's it. Thank you, Nadia. Um, no, no, uh, I have one more thing, Peter, uh, if you allow me. You so, to finish okay. it, what okay. are your insights in three words? Please, your insights over the last weeks and months. Type it into the chat. What are your insights? Thanks a lot. Now it's done, Peter. Thanks.